Oh, what's going on guys? Krakow here. I've actually reset my computer a few days ago and I've re-downloaded Tetrio to play it. And I'm actually going to re-download Tetrio Plus since I don't have it on this computer anymore. Uh, that's what I used to get all my custom skins and custom sound effects. Uh, people have asked me in the past how I got those, so I want to make a video on it today. A tutorial. Oh, actually a guy called Marshmell on YouTube already made a video on this. That's what I originally used to download it, but... Oh, I wanted to make my own since some of my subscribers were asking. Also, he only really talks about how to download it and not like what all the features do and how to get the sound effects and skins. Well, he talks about how to get the skins, but uh, I'll link his video down in the description. So uh, I'll get started. So first, what you want to do is head on to the GitLab link over here. You want to download this Tetrio Plus zip file. I'll download it right here. I actually already downloaded this before on this computer, but decided to make a tutorial, so it says 2 here, but that doesn't matter. I'll drag it into my desktop, extract here, and you'll get a file called app.asar. So what you want to do next is you go to Tetrio. You need to open the Tetrio files. Uh, you can do that by right-clicking the Tetrio icon. Open file location. If you don't have it on your desktop, you can always search up Tetrio. And then right click it, open file location, or it's right here as well. So anyways, when you open it, you'll see these. Go to resources, then you'll see app.asar. You can, you're supposed to replace this with the new app.asar you downloaded from Tetrio Plus. You can leave it. I'll actually leave it right now. I'll make a new folder. Tetrio original app.asar. I'll move it in there. And then I'll move in app.asar. Now it's going to run this app.asar when you open Tetrio. I'll show you guys what I mean. So when you boot up the game, this menu will pop up. So I'll walk you guys through what each feature does. So this is skins. You change skin, remove skin, remove skin, removes the skin, and change skin. You can go here choose a skin over here in the files or that later uh sound effects you can open sound effects editor import your own sound effects custom music i've never actually used this but i don't know how so i don't know how this works but you can import your custom music files like you know how in tetrio there's custom musics or over here so you can toggle that it can also work as sound effects and custom backgrounds. I'm not sure what this does. Uh, miscellaneous. I'm not sure what all the other ones do, but what I mainly use is Hydra Tio Plus window on startup. What that does is when you boot the game, it doesn't show this window. It just skips right away to the game. You can always toggle the window by pressing Ctrl T if you enabled this option and want to open it later on. Block adds. Uh, it blocks the ads. Basically, if you have supporter on Tetrio, um, it blocks the ads for you. But if you have Tetrio Plus, it blocks the ad from Tetrio Plus. So I guess that's pretty convenient. And Tetrio Plus enabled. Uh, I'll walk you guys through on how I get my skins and sound effects. So these two are the websites I mainly use to get my skins and the sound effects. So my skin is... Well, what I usually use is this right here elements minus flat if you go to my youtube channel uh you can actually see that i i am using this that's this exact skin uh you want to press any skin like you want to choose any skin you want and download it with this button and then you go here change skin choose files and You'll find it in your downloads folder or wherever you download your files. Set skin. Now it will set your skin to whatever you chose. So enable sound effects. I don't use it here. Uh, actually, I'll actually do it right now. So the sound effects I use in my videos is uh, Tetris 99 sound pack. I'll download it. It's a TPSC file. So I actually took a while uh, trying to figure this one out myself a few weeks back or a few months back you just have to uh, press this button import tpse then you will choose file 
Got a Tetris 99 sound pack right here. I'll enable it and it's gonna get there. In terms of backgrounds, I do add local custom background. A regular custom background, animated custom background, you can do this too. It shows custom backgrounds. Well, it, it shows a moving custom background, essentially. And here you can just choose files and click on the background you want. And then we'll, and you press this, enable local custom backgrounds. And then we'll enable the background on your computer. Uh, custom features. Oh, I forgot to go over custom features. Uh, enable emote picker. It lets you use Tetrio emojis in your game in the chat. Uh, custom maps. I'm not. Oh yeah, custom maps. You can download custom maps like in Gestress. Uh, touch control. I'm not sure what this is. I've never used it. Enable key OSD. I'll actually enable this and show you guys in the video. It'll show like a key overlay, so you can use it in your like your streams, like what you're pressing. I know Caboozled Pie uses it on his streams. So after you've applied all your settings, you have to press Control F5 on your game to refresh the game. You'll actually see my keystrokes over here. I'll set it on the bottom. So you'll see my custom background, my custom, my custom sound effects. I'll show you guys. You see how there's custom sound effects now? Also the emo picker. You go to a game, you click on the, you click on the message, you press tab and you can find your emo picker. And you can just click on whatever you want, type it, and it's gonna say in the chat. So yeah, that was it for my video. I hope this helped for the people who didn't know how to use Tetrio Plus before. Well, I'm probably gonna be not uploading too frequently from now on. I wanna actually focus on school and stuff. I'll probably upload from here and there, but not as often as I used to. So. Uh, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.